AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes in an I Quit match. Yes, this is the opener of the show. I realize the other title match is closing it, but still weird. Uh, the crowd is singing the AJ as a wanker. It's always funny. So they had a big brawl. They brawled backstage. They brawled back to the ringside. Uh, we had... They're uh, fi fighting on the uh, announce desk. AJ does a DVD and a brain buster on the announce desk. And Cody comes up with some very, very, very bright blood that about 10 minutes later is just all mysteriously gone. Barely bleeding at all. AJ gets in Mama Rhodes' face and she very loudly calls him an asshole. I laughed. Women, old women cursing is funny. So then we had a whole bunch of like, we had stuff that on paper sounds hardcore and violent and the kind of things you expect in an I Quit match. And when you actually watch them, it was mostly just silly. AJ pilmanizes Cody's neck, then beats him with a stick, then whips him with a belt. Now, I don't want any of these things actually done to me, but it seems like the, the, the stick would suck more than the belt. And the pilmanizing of the neck would suck way more than the stick. Yeah, you know, the one thing I will say about this match in general is that, you know, they obviously have to build some drama and everything. And you want to give people the idea that maybe AJ is going to win, even though, you know, on the SmackDown show prior to this, they did the Cody Rhodes AJ face to face. And AJ pretty much said, you know, I have a difficult mountain to climb given you worked an entire Hell in a Cell match with a torn peck and never quit. Mm. I was like, yeah, not sure anyone's going to buy Cody quitting in this match. But they have to try to make you believe. And so, man, AJ beat the hell out of this guy for 25 minutes. And, I mean, pilmanizing the neck and the brain buster on the edge of the table and the belt shots and the cane. And at one point, it kind of was like, okay, we're kind of getting to the point of overkill here. But then... When he murdered him, when he literally choked him unconscious, yeah. the guy's body is in the ring unconscious, and the referee explains, he didn't say I quit, therefore the match continues. I was like, we have now jumped the shark with drama, because that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. He was unconscious but the other man couldn't win because he didn't say i quit like what happens if you pilmize a guy's neck and like you break his hyoid bone or his larynx or whatever mm. and he physically can never speak again does he retain the title because he cannot say i quit as he's taken to the hospital or whatever it was ridiculous it was absolutely ridiculous but you know other than that i mean the match was great but that was well, not, preposterous well, not, not to mention Okay, I have choked him out. He has not said I quit, so therefore I do not technically win. I'm not going to grab a bottle of water and immediately wake him up. I'm going to, at the very least, like duct tape him, bind him so that when he does wake up, he can't fight back. All right, mutilate him. Get some kind of sharp weapon and start lopping off limbs so when he revives, he's helpless. I'm not going to pour a bottle of water on him. Wake him up. Hold on, I need to make a note. Yeah. So then AJ gets the pro wrestling handcuffs that have like eight feet of chain between the links. Do not have I quit match with Finney. No. Well, you know, don't lose one. <laughs> or just quit. If you say I quit, I won't do any of these things. I was going to say, I mean, you can have an I quit match with Vinny because I don't think he's un he's rendering you unconscious. Yeah. Well, unlikely. Yeah. You'll just I, kick my ass. Does, I'm going to get mutil yeah. mutilated, though. We would just beat him up oh, the entire only time. Only if you take a nap first. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot of silliness here, as my point is. And, and for an I quit match, they're supposed to be, uh, you know... The, 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 it's supposed to be the end of the feud. You, you're, you're so humiliated, this man. You've made him quit, and you got the mic there, so you can you can talk shit to each other. You, you can hear these guys in pain and agony and refusing to do that. They didn't do any of that stuff here. It was, it was, a, it was a PG I Quit match, and uh, they did do. And I do kind of love the WWE I Quit finish. They did this with Cena and JBL. They probably done it with some others. I can't remember, but AJ's fucked. Cody's made his big comeback. He has hit the Cody Cutter multiple crossroads. He can do whatever he wants to AJ Styles here to uh, to finish him off. And so he uses the handcuffs in a bit of a turning the tables on him. Uh, uh, just desserts, all that kind of thing. Poetic justice. He handcuffs Cody to the ropes, gets the stairs into the ring, and is going to murder AJ with the stairs. And AJ, out of cowardice, says, I quit, even before he's been hit with the stairs, in anticipation of the pain. And then Cody blasts him anyway because he deserves it for being a coward. I do like that finish. So, 
On the whole, this is good. I do think it would have been better to see a standard street fight or whatever and just have pinfalls and nearfalls and all that, but uh, I enjoyed this. Uh, so I got home from work on Saturday and uh, went to watch the pay-per-view and realized it wasn't over yet. Hmm. And so I actually watched the pay-per-view kind of in reverse. Huh. So I watched it from the middle out and then started this uh, yesterday. Um, I was shocked when this was the opener, number one. But um, where else were they going to put it? And in hindsight, maybe they should have put it at the end and screwed Drew first. But anyway. Well, the problem is if you put the Drew McIntyre match first, everyone knows he's losing. Well, there is that. And the match ends, they may leave. Anyway, all that said, this was a very good match. Um, AJ is a stud. Uh, Cody Rhodes is also a stud. The spot that uh, neither of you addressed, there was a... uh, springboard into what was going to be a phenomenal forearm and cody threw a chair at aj's head and i don't know how the laws of gravity and physics but he was headed straight down for this table head first and somehow on the camera cut was able to spin in midair and take the bump on his back but um he is tremendous yes yeah, he, he is in fact ter- phenomenal turns out he's good yeah. So uh, anyway, yes. fantastic match. Uh, great opener. Yeah, I mean, technically this was, uh, I mean, great. AJ is, AJ is, he's just, he's a, uh, I don't know the word. To be, to be as old as he is and to have taken the bumps he took when he was young. You know, he had that famous, it was like a power bomb or something on the guardrail where oh. I remember talking about how this guy ain't going to make it. There's no way he's going to be wrestling at 40. And here he is on his way to 50, and he's still having incredible matches, and he's rarely injured. Mm-hmm. And Cody was great in this match. And, you know, I can't fault them for the stupid going to sleep finish. But it is, it is, it's stupid not just because it's stupid and doesn't make any sense. But as noted, this is supposed to be like a blow-off match. It's supposed to be like the final match of a feud. A guy makes another guy say, I quit. Well, we've done that, but now the guy that said I quit has got an argument that, dude, I choked this guy out. He was unconscious. I should be the champion right now. In any other match, I'd be the champion. So I didn't like that aspect of it, but as a match, I thought it was really, really good, technically. Isla Dawn and Alba Fire versus Sheena Baszler and Zoe Stark versus Jay Did you talk about the post-match? I fast forwarded through it. What was the post patch? Well, Solo Sokoa runs into Cody in the aisle. They have a stare down. Both Tongans hit the ring. They attack Cody. Randy Orton's music hits. Him and Kevin Owens run down to make the save. So we've got a six person in the works with Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and uh, and Cody Rhodes versus Solo, Tonga, and Tonga. Very good. Very good. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.